let's see this question here two circles are given with radius r1 and r2 touching each other we have to find the length of common tangent ab so first let's start by joining the centers of the circle that's o and o dash and let's join oa oa is nothing but the radius of first circle and it's joining the tangent so we know that radius is perpendicular to the tangent so your oa length is nothing but r1 and o dash b length is r2 i'm drawing a construction here that is i'm drawing a line o dash m parallel to ab yahan par humne o dash m draw kiya hai and this o dash m is parallel to line ab if we look at this figure right this is a quadrilateral is there in this quadrilateral first is this radius are perpendicular to the tangent and these two are forming a co interior angle agar hum if you look at this purple line this purple line are getting transversed by the tangent ab and these are co interior angle whose sum is 180 so we can say that these lines are parallel to each other and by construction these lines are also parallel so all the two pair of opposite sides are parallel and thus we can say that this figure is a parallelogram and parallelogram with one angle as 90 degrees a rectangle so in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal so if we talk about am now this length of am will be same as o dash b which is nothing but r2 so this length is r2 and om om if you see this full length this is r1 so om will be nothing but r1 minus r2 that's the length of om also if we'll name this point at which the circles are meeting let's call this point as p so op is the radius of the circle r1 and o dash p that's equals to r2 and as this figure is a rectangle thus this angle is 90 degree and this angle inside this is 90 degrees now let's concentrate on this triangle so in triangle o o dash m it's a right angle triangle therefore by pythagoras theorem i am applying pythagoras theorem here we can say that o o dash whole square that's hypotenuse is equals to o m square plus o dash m square now o o dash that's your r1 plus r2 whole square om now om is nothing but r1 minus r2 so this is r1 minus r2 whole square how about o dash m we know that this yellow figure is a rectangle so in rectangle opposite sides are also equal so o dash m is nothing but ab the length which we have to find so solving this we'll get ab square is r1 plus r2 whole square minus r1 minus r2 whole square so here i am applying a square minus b square that's a plus b which gives me 2 times r1 and a minus b which is giving me 2 times of r2 here we'll solve to get ab is equals to 2 times of square root r1 times r2 and this is our answer which we had to find
I hope the solution is clear to you. This formula is very useful and can be used directly in uh, most of the MCQ questions. So I'll see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.